as mentioned by Professor Kozlov earlier during this breakout session, the hypothesis about the evolutionary role of heritable tumors um, is fairly well developed. This hypothesis can make can result in a prediction that the evolutionary novel genes are expressed in tumors, and the number of oncogenes can um, should correlate with uh, the genes expressed. So in this study, we performed the study of an expression analysis of um, human genes. The hypothesis can also result in a few fairly original and unexpected predictions. Oncogenes, tumor suppressor genes, and differentiation genes should co-evolve. This has been confirmed in our earlier study that was quoted by Professor Koslov in his presentation earlier this session. We also conf uh, confirmed that the number of oncogenes should correspond to the number of cell types. Um, this prediction was made back in 1987. Evolutionarily, novel genes are expressed in tumors. In our study, we looked at another two surprising predictors, namely that evolutionary young herbs are tumor specifically expressed and that evol uh, evolutionary young herbs should be higher expressed in tumor like organs, such as memory glands and prostate. To conduct the analysis, we used HerbD database. It's a publicly available database that contains uh, sequences of uh, endogenous uh, retroviruses. We also used another two databases, GDEX, which contains the transcriptomes of transcriptomes in uh, normal tissues. from 50 to 54 non-disease tissue sites across nearly 1,000 individuals. And another database, TCGA, which contains transcriptomes of uh, 20,000 primary cancer sites spanning 33 cancer types. The analyses were conducted using STAR software and HDSEC. It should be noted that the number of antigenous retroviruses in our genome is about 40%. According to some estimates, this number is really higher. These are the retroviral insertions that occurred at different points in um, the evolution of humans. The diagram shows different points at which um, endogenous retroviruses were infected, um, sorry, infected um, humans. The youngest retroviruses are those of the HML family which in turn um, relates to the K retroviral family. Older retroviruses include HML5 uh, of the R retrovirus family. 
For our analysis, we took the sequence um, from HML2 and HML5 sequences. These are the outcomes. The diagrams, the bars on the diagrams uh, show FPKM fragments. In the left part of the slide, uh, you can see the expression uh, in the normal lymphocyte within the HML2 family. In the right part of the slide, the same endogenous retroviruses in a lymphoma. It is clear that young HML2 retroviruses have a higher level of expression, display a higher level of expression in tumors compared to the normal state. The same picture can be observed for normal lung cells and small cell carcinoma. The HML expression in the mammary gland um, is fairly interesting because um, we believed that young retroviruses ought to show higher expression in tumor-like um, organs such as the mammary gland. And this is something that we saw. Further studies are needed to understand why expression in the normal mammary gland is higher. A similar picture can be observable for the prostate, which is also a tumor-like organ. And these are the data for evolutionarily older um, viruses of the HML5 family. The slide shows data for virus expression in the normal lung and in that affected by small cell carcinoma. These genes uh, display a higher expression compared to the tumor. And you observe the same picture or a similar picture for normal mammary gland prostate. The slide shows um, results of a larger scale analysis um, that involves all families of the um, endogenous herbs uh, of the K and the H families. Uh, the H family is also an old retroviral family. Older endogenous retroviruses are expressed in normal lymphocytes significantly to a larger extent compared to younger retroviruses. Endogenous retroviruses of the K family increase expression, show increased expression in lymphomas. Those of the H family practically do not change their expression levels. And we see a similar picture for K family viruses in normal and small cell carcinoma uh, cells. So in the tumor, as you see, most of those retroviruses um, show very high expression. Our analysis has displayed, has confirmed that evolutionarily young herbs are expressed predominantly in tumors. Evolutionarily older herbs have high expression level in normal tissues. Interestingly, evolutionarily young endogenous retroviruses are highly expressed in tumor-like organs. And the global conclusion is that we have managed to confirm 
that evolutionarily novel human genes have tumor-specific expression. Thank you for your attention.